Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. Tonight we are checking in the first adventure for the card uh, for the Pathfinder adventure card game, The Curse of the Crimson Throne Adventure Path, the first released expansion pack for the Pathfinder Adventure Card Game Core Set. This is the new second printing, the new one that was released in 2019. Uh, today we are going to take a look at this, we are checking this in, and before I can check this into my game co collection, I need to open it up and see what's inside, and I figure why not share that with you. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. You can find my content at TabletopBellhop.com and all over the internet on social media, YouTube, Twitch, and all that fun stuff as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. At TabletopBellhop.com you will find things like these unboxing videos, Actual plays, some Gloomhaven reports, looks at which games I played recently, reviews, and other cool tabletop gaming content that includes both RPGs and board games and hybrid games like these. So enough about me, we are going to open this up, so I'm going to start off by reading the back of the box. It says, The King is Dead, Long Live the Queen. Corvosa is cursed that none of its mo monarchs shall ever die of old age or produce an heir. Metropolis teeters on the edge of anarchy. It needs heroes that can face down crime lords, rioting mobs, insane cultists, virulent plague, undead hordes, screaming devils, corrupted nobles, barbarian chieftains, and ancient and forgotten evils that seek to dominate and plunder the city. That city's in rough shape. This expansion to the popular cooperative strategy game pits one to six players against monsters, perils and traps as you save the city of Corvosa from the threats both ancient and new. Choose your character, build a deck of unique equipment, magic, and allies, and explore the lethal locations as you journey through an exciting fantasy tale. As your adventure continues, your characters will add remarkable gear and breathtaking magic to their decks. They'll also gain incredible powers, which you'll need to challenge more and more powerful threats. This includes the storybook and cards for Curse of the Crimson Throne Adventure Path. It requires the core set and expands the maximum number of players to six for that set. Interesting. You can supplement your exist experience with Character Decks, Pathfinder Adventure Card Society, and Pathfinder Adventure Card Accessories available elsewhere. One to six players, age 13 plus, playing time 90 minutes per scenario. We're going to start by removing the shrink wrap using our handy dandy hobby knife. Always cut away from yourself when using a hobby knife or other sharp blade. This is a significantly heavy box. I should have thrown it on a scale just to, to give an idea of just how heavy this is. It has the same problem as the corset. Come on. Alright, immediately we got standees. Like, this is, like, oh, man. I wish you could feel how heavy this is. So we have four new standees. Two-sided standees. Same art on both sides. We have our new scenario book. Based on the Curse of the Crimson Throne Adventure Path for Pathfinder, this is a hefty 48-page adventure book. We have adventure one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six adventures in here, including a bonus adventure. Adventures are going to start off with some nice artwork and oh, oh yeah, this is all the setup. Wow. All right. Bunch of setup. We have some nice artwork, some fluff, and then what you need to play, which cards are required to play this. Note at this point, I have not played the Pathfinder adventure card game. I received this and the box set from Paizo for the purpose of review. No other compensation was provided. So at this point, I just wanted to open both of those up. If you haven't seen it yet, please check out my unboxing video for the core set to see the ridiculous number of cards in there. Then we have five significant decks of cards. Look at these. These are not thin decks of cards. I'm going to do a quick look through these, make sure nothing says open me first. If you've seen my original unboxing video of the core set, you'll know why. Hey, right, I don't see anything that says open first. To be honest, at this point, we could probably end the unboxing video. We're going to open up one of these just to show it to you, but these look just like the cards from the core set. 
You got lots of different card information on there. Like artwork featured well. You have new character cards. Character cards have check boxes that you are going to mark things on the cards or on the sleeves to show permanent changes to your characters. You've got some nice monsters here that look pretty tough. Artwork is fantastic. Paizo artwork. We've got a weapon card there. This is actually showing a good cross section of all the different cards. There's a blessing with some rather unique artwork, including a weird looking frog thing. Okay, just for fear of not mixing these all up, I'm just going to open one of these. I'm going to start with the character pack, because I don't want these cards to end up mixed in my box here for when I do actually sit down to play through this adventure. So we're going to open one of these, kind of flip through it so you can see what some of the cards look like. I have to assume for most people, if you're watching this, you've probably played the adventure card game before and you've already seen what the cards look like. But just in case this is your first time seeing the Pathfinder adventure card game, We'll give you an idea what some of the cards look like. I will say the cards were much easier to open in the car set. These are actually giving me some difficulty. Much more glue on these cards. Alright, so we have characters. Go through these quickly-ish. You've got your character cards and your roll cards for each of the characters. And blackjack roll zero. You've got your new wild card. Again, I'm shocked by the amount of text that's on all of these cards. You have a new cohort. Again, excellent Pathfinder artwork on all these cards. Go through a few of these. Here's some of our new locations. The chart of which, how to build the deck for each location. Looks like, of course, most city-based locations. No dungeon crawl here. The blood pool. I just realized I may be mixing these, so I am going to start putting these face down instead of face up, just in case it matters. The boat. There are a lot of locations here. Fishery, Slaughterhouse, Jigsaw Shark, Story Bane. I have no idea what that means. Thug. A Scythe. False Life, a spell. I love that goblin artwork on there. Some really interesting armor. I don't know what a Klar is, but there's a Klar. Spiked gauntlets, some blessings, saw lots of those in the base set, some supporters, trying to get me out of order here cards, don't do it, and some store, more story bait. So there you go, that is one deck of the cards, I'm not going to go through all of them. So, other sides of the character cards. So, they are two-sided. That's it. So, six, no, five new significant, significant decks of cards. Like, look at it. Here, let's make a stack. Let's I'm gonna put this right here. I'm going to make a stack of these cards. Like, look at this. That is not a small amount of cards in any way, shape, or form. You have the Curse of the Crimson Throne Adventure Path for the Pathfinder Adventure Card Game. Five ridiculously large decks of cards. Seven more adventures. Note the core rulebook only had three. Did each look like they had three parts? So you've got more adventure here that comes in the base game. Thankfully, this box, the original game, has tons of room to fit these cards. These will easily fit in the core box. There'll be no problem. Won't need to keep this box unless you're a collector and you don't want to throw it out. So that's good to know. 
I'm going to keep this sealed though until I play through that set before I touch this. If I do play through it though, I will be posting the review at tabletopbellhop.com, so be sure to head over there. If you want to know when it's live, be sure to follow me on social media. I can be found everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. If you dig the content you've seen from me, head over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and consider tipping your bellhop. For Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo. Good night and game on.